Welcome to the Whiskey Bowl. I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. Uh, first, we're gonna benevolent bastard uh, Nelson Tilling. Nelson Tilling, you benevolent bastard. <laughs> you, you, you wanna try that again? You know what it sounded like? You said malevolent. <laughs> You oh, said you're cross malevolent. Between, it's a cross between magnificent and benevolent. Yeah, yeah. You malevolent bastard. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You like that one better? I think Peter Golden. Was a malevolent bastard? Was a malevolent bastard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and who was the other one? Uh, you never go full Shapper. Yeah, yeah. Shapper yeah. Malevolent, malevolent bastard. Yeah. Malevolent bastard. Okay. Benevolent bastard. Nelson Telling, you benevolent bastard. <laughs> Uh, we did all of these as a series at Thomas S. Moore. So, um, thank you, sir. We're going to put that away with the port casks, and we are going to do... At what point does Trash Titan go full prestige? What's the number? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Do you know? Well, what number are we at? Shepard's in the 80s to 90s, hundreds, what right? Uh, this is Brendan Kite, right. who is now over 50. Okay. Is that, a, is that a prestige? Is 50 the prestige? Is it 50? Yeah. 50 is prestige? Because if so, he's back around to Magnificent Bastard. <laughs> so, hey, guess what? Whenever you get to Titan, yeah. Trash Titan, yeah. then you become a Magnificent Bastard prestige level one. Prestige level one. You prestiged. <laughs> yeah. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Here you go, Brendan Kite. You, you presti prestige, no, prestigious bastard. You prestigious, prestigious bastard. bastard. That's funny. Uh, Paul John is the Indian malt. This is their Christmas edition, twenty twenty. Okay. So, ironically, they are the fifth largest by sales numbers alone, distillery in the world. Oh, okay. Right? John Distilleries. Huh. And they're in Goa, and... Ooh. I got some on my fingers. Man. Very warm climate. Okay. Right? So it's gonna be closer to, like, some of the American warm climate malts, or like a um, Cavalon, Taiwan warm climate yeah. malt. Yeah. Right? Now, this one specifically is unpeated whiskey. Mm-hmm. From Ec Oloroso, yeah. unpeated from virgin oak, mixed with peated from used bourbon barrels. So it's a mix of peat and unpeated, with the unpeated being in sherry and oak, yeah. and the peated being in bourbon casks. Yeah. I, all blended together. So I'm just on the nose. Love the nose. I love that this is coming out of India. Grape. Are you getting grape on the nose? Of well, course, let's start with the, the smoky bit. Well, it's smoky. Yeah. Yeah, that's and, and you got it on your hands. That doesn't help. Because that's what's gonna remain behind on a smoky whiskey on your hands. I'm just gonna live here for a minute. That's really nice. Yeah, that that's is nice. just like a really rich wood, oil, and leather smoke. Oh, that's the stuff right there. Almost a sandal, oiled sandalwood. Oh, uh, yeah. That's really good. Now the nose adds a lot of like grapefruit directions. There is that. What is that? Some type of... Why did I think hand lotion? A scented, soft scented hand lotion. Like, that was even... Creamy. Using, yeah. The texture is creamy. And then... On the nose, even. Hmm. Man, this is very different than you do the hands and you do yeah. that. It's very different in the glass. There is a... Gosh, it's not salt water. Or something no, like. it's... um. Mineral, it's yeah, limestone. Very, oh my gosh, incredibly, incredibly. If you just had limestone, hard water, that was half mineral, half water. And again, that, again, that's not very helpful for people outside of Central Texas with our. Well, no, I mean, Kentucky has limestone water. Scotland has limestone. Like, it's a common thing. Okay. But it, it, it feels like it's it, everything's kind of squished down and sandwiched down on the nose. I'm going to do the taste. Mm. Ch chocolate ca candies, like the ones that have fillings of things. Oh. Like when you get those little like chocolate spreads where you open the box and it has like 12 different yeah. things to and pick it is from. Yeah, a little, a little burst of peat in my chocolate. Yeah. Smoky chocolate and then a uh, fruit, but a fruit candy that's yep. inside of a chocolate. You know, the nose was throwing me off quite a mm -hmm. bit. I like the taste a lot more. See, I really like the nose. Mm -mm. I like the nose right here. 
Mm. In the glass? Nah, I'm not really feeling it. You get it in your face though. That's mm. where it's at. This is good. This is maybe the best Paul John that I have had. Mm. Yeah, I gotta say. Ooh. This is it, man. Multi. That's my favorite one so far. What kind of fruity is that? It's apples and something. It's almond and apples. Almond and apples? Okay. Mm -hmm. Almond and apples. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an apple uh, crumble. Yeah. With uh, with almond glazed almonds. But it is again. This is young. Forty six percent. That is rich for forty six percent. It the, uh, the the springiness, the liveliness mm -hmm. of the alcohol doesn't quite get feisty. It's not feisty. Mm -mm. But it's little very bitey. springy. It's right there. It's, it's one to do some damage, but it's not quite there. Gosh, it's nice. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Nick, can you, what if there was like 10 more years on that? Ooh, I would soften right? all of those edges. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like it as much. You don't think? I had a really old Laphroaig the other day. Yeah. And uh, I didn't like, it was really soft and fruity and candied and approachable and the smoke was a light touch accent on the edges. Mm -hmm. And I thought a lot of people would love this, but it's missing what I love about Laphroaig, mm. which is that little bit of a mm, sharp edge to it. And then there's some ashiness under the fruit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so good, though. That's yeah, so good. Uh, a wolf. You guys should try <laughs> Indian whiskey. It's a it's actually a hidden gem. Okay. What? Done. It's almost like we read your mind, or that I pulled comments that were convenient to that the were narrative convenient of this to the narrative of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Shilapov, all this time I thought there can only be one definition of cast strength, and now this! Yeah. Now I don't know what my name is or where I live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, when it comes to unregulated terms like small batch, yeah. cask strength, handcrafted. Uh, yeah, it's just, it could be anything. And realistically, in certain climates, barrels drop in proof. And so you could have a really old barrel at a really low proof. Yeah. It's, and that would freak everybody out. Yeah, that's generally didn't get that low. If I'm rem remembering correctly, it was in the low to mid 40s or something, wasn't it? Well, no, it can. In certain the one, places the one that in he's Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the low mid 40s. Yeah. Certain places in Scotland, um, they can have a barrel go so low it's not legally whiskey anymore. <laughs> it's under 80 proof. And they mix it with higher proof to bring it back up right. when they're blending. Yeah, yeah. To, to save it. I wonder what's the lowest any barrel has gone. Beer just flat out. Yeah, I'd be very. I'd love to try that just to see what it turned into. I had to put it in a different climate. Yeah. All right, we got the. Wait, that was two. That was it. Bye. See ya. No. <laughs> this winner. I Ch dig chicken dinner. Uh, he's like my granddad, man. No chicken dinner is what all the kids are saying. <laughs> you are such an old man. I <laughs> no. swear to God. No, I saw it in Fortnite this one time. Oh. I, 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 well, I'll show you YouTube clip of it. Do you watch YouTube? Someone's doing chicken. Wait a whole second. This is someone's doing chicken. This dinner. is way more interesting than the Indian yeah. whiskey. The, the fact that Daniel watches YouTube clips of Fortnite. No, it was actually a sketch that someone was doing about Fortnite. It was Viva La Dirt League. Did you ever play Fortnite? Even for a minute. Yeah. Uh, seems like it would be fun slash stressful. Okay. And like I would get my ass handed to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty good at Halo though. No, you're not. You were. Almost good. No, I just played the newest one. At Halo. Do you have an Xbox? Which one? The S or whatever. You got, you really yeah. get set up? Yeah, well, I've had it for a while. The boys use it. Oh, okay. Boys. Yeah, so, but I got the new Halo and yeah. played it. What's your KD ratio? I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> kill death? Yeah. Like kill to die? Like how much I kill versus how much I die? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I play kind of... Um, I will say... You're playing the campaign or multiplayer? Campaign. Oh, there's no kitty. Yeah, okay. Well, I will say that the new grappling hook makes you almost invincible. Like, I don't under... Like, it feels unfair. I was playing on the legendary status, yeah. and the only thing that's Wait, really hard... legendary? Yeah. The only one that's actually hard is the... Br the um, the brutes. The, the br no, no, no. The, um, the ones with the, the bike and the arm cannons, and they're big. The biggest bad guy. 
big, and they're usually in pairs. Armored. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Those are the only ones that are actually hard to kill. Yeah, those guys. Because you have to find the armor chinks. Yeah. But uh, and all I did with those is I just get one of the jets yeah. from my station yeah. and just long distance yeah. spend like ten minutes See, until I, I took them out. <laughs> I, I beat it on heroic. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass. You're playing the legendary. I didn't. So here's why I quit. I quit at the very, very, very final battle. That's where I spent like three days, and I still didn't beat on it. On legendary, it's yeah. A, like on heroic, it was a pain in the ass. Yeah, and on legendary, I couldn't do it, and I quit. Right. I was just like, ah, this is not fun anymore. So I might go back and play it at normal, just right. so I can beat the whole game. But uh, that grappling hook, I used to always play yeah. safe from the edges. So you upgraded it to where you grapple, and then you can like. Oh smash yeah. Them the and... first thing I did is spend every single piece of energy upgrading the grappling hook. See, I, upgraded I didn't me. spend any other effort. I upgraded my personal shield. No grappling hook all the way. Because you upgrade the personal shield, and yeah. you can just go like ham, jump in the middle, start throwing. No, that's all what those. the grappling hook does. Yeah, that's a like, so you I just do the recharge though. You have to it has to recharge. It takes a second. When it's all all mastered, yeah. things fast, and it launches everybody within like a thirty foot radius. You know what ability I did not hmm. bother with? Such a nerdy conversation. At all? What? I upgraded everything. I even had the points. boost. The boost was the boost. Bo boost. Who I the hell's gonna move my? Boost? I have to select it. That's bullshit. And it bumps me three feet to the left. Like, like what, what the fuck is what? that? What? Like and if and I need to move quickly, I'm not going with D pad to yeah. get the boost on. Such so bullshit. Yeah, let's see. No. No, the one dude, uh, the one major bad guy, Brute, was pretty hard. That yeah. took me a while. Yeah, that's, it takes me. Yeah. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. <laughs> and if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.